Hey, hey, hey guys, this is Hawkeye and I am back with Ultimate Fishing Simulator 2 Early Access. And we are back in Slovakia, or at least that's what we're headed to, to do some float fishing. Now the float fishing in Slovakia is done very differently. As in most of the other lakes and uh, waterways, you normally just throw it in and wait for the fish to come. With this, you have to kind of think ahead of time, because there's a strong, strong current here and you have to compensate for that so let's go ahead and jump in and see how we can do now before we do i'm just going to show you the uh, list of the species that are found here the chub eyed roach rainbow trout grayling atlantic salmon common bleak luchin brook, brook trout and brown trout now i will tell you the only one i have yet to catch is the common bleak my understanding is they can be caught flow fishing with dough balls at night, but I haven't been successful at it. I have managed to catch chub, eyed, roach, rainbow trout, and brook trout flow fishing so far. So they can be caught, and there is a good technique for it, but you, it's a little tricky. It's a little tricky. Well, let's go ahead and jump in here. All right, we are here, and this is probably not where I want to start off with. But before we do that, I'm going to show you my gear. We're going to go to the inventory, and we're going to go to our float setup. We have this Float X5 300. It's uh, 9.84 feet, and I believe, yes, its test is 10.01, which is pretty darn good. That's what we're going to be using. We've got a few others here, but this is the one that's the most powerful that I've purchased. 7.72 pound, that was one that you, I uh, believe, can purchase for free. And that's not bad, but for here I'm going to use the 10 pounder. And I'm also using the UFE Barracuda Reel. That's a 9.92 pound reel. Uh, I am going to switch this Hyper Braid and go to a little bit lighter. Let's see, we got the Mono Dark, the Hyper Braid. Here it is, the UFS Mono. 7.05 pounds. Just to make sure the fish can't see the line. I'm going to be using 11.02 liter. Now this is where it gets tricky, you guys. This is a R Floats River Float. It's a sport float and it weighs about three ounces so you don't necessarily need the weights but it does help and there's some others that you can use uh, I use that one and I sometimes use this R Floats River Waggler 3 in fact I might go ahead and use that one because that one's been really good for catching the eye which we're going to start off with I've got a uh, number 16 hook small hook we're going to be using simply small hooks for this that's what this fish seem to be biting off of and then the dragonfly. Now, if we go for grayling, I did catch a grayling at night using a dragonfly. So you might get lucky and catch another one this time. That was the first, I thought it was the most elusive, but apparently it's the common lick. All right, we're gonna go ahead and get back here. We're gonna go to the map, and I'm kinda gonna come I think I'm going to come over here to five because I was able to catch a lot of the eye over here. You can catch them just about anywhere. But the eye, wait, a minute, did I get them over there? I don't think I did. So I got, yeah, I'm here. Okay, just didn't look like it for some reason. All right, we are here. And this is where we're going to be casting. I'm going to come out here. into the water. Now if you look at the map, the water is flowing this way, east to west. So we need to cast our rod towards the bridge if we're going to use float fishing because otherwise it's just going to get away from us. I'm going to come down here a little bit so I have a little more room to do stuff. All right, 
let's pull it out here. Oh, not sure what that was about. All right, we're gonna toss it in here. I'm gonna take the drag down just a little bit. Probably about 50% is good. Okay, I thought, I guess I'm mistaken. I thought it was the other direction. The water flows this way. That's right, I do remember. Now what's going to happen, eventually it's going to stretch the line out as far as it'll go. I usually try to close the bail, so don't... And then it's just going to sit there, which is what it needs to do. Otherwise it's going to be floating around, it's real hard for the fish to track it sometimes. Now it's just a matter of a waiting game. Over here, I was catching quite a bit of ice. Let's see if there's any more of them again. Honestly, I'm not seeing any at the moment, so I'm not so sure we're going to have any luck this time. I might go back down to site number one and see if that does any better. I'll tell you one thing. Let's pop this out here real quick. But I really love the grubs. Absolutely love the grubs. And I do see an eye down there somewhere. Just reeled it in so I closed the bail. Otherwise, it's just going to keep going. <laughs> you don't want that. I'm hoping I can get that hide's attention. There's a little bit of ways off now. Sure, but he might be on the way. Yeah, I think he's coming for it. I'm not 100 certain, but I'm pretty sure. And there's another one too. They both seem to come there with purpose. Come on, fellas. I don't care which one of you decide to take it, but... I think this is a roach, guys, actually. Let me show you what we got here. Yes, it is. It is indeed a roach. He's about 2.63. He's actually a pretty good size for a roach, guys. Let me show you this little fella here. Yeah, most of the ones I've been catching have been about a half a pound, so that's pretty darn good. He's a pound and a half. He's on the upper end of the scale for these guys. Let me see here. I'm going to scooch over this way a little bit. something jumping around. I don't know what it is. It's really kind of having a field day over there. Oh, oh there we go guys. He's gonna get it. He's gonna get it. See how he's freaking out? Boom! There we go. There we go. 
Yeah, when they start doing that little dance or whatever it is at the top of the water, you're going to get a bite. And this fellow is pretty good size. Let's see what he is here. Yep, he is an eyed. 12.73 cash, 4.67 pounds. He's a nice eyed. And apparently, I completed something. Let's see what we did on the missions here. Looks like I caught this many, oh, 100%. If one, any species that weighs 2.2 pounds, 15 minutes on any fishing now, we're already well on our way there. And this many fish of a given species. So we're going to get a few quests done while we're here too, it looks like. Alright, I'm not going to go too far this time. Seems like the rainbow trout do not have an interest in, in the grubs. Which is actually really good because they take just about every lure you put out there. Focus a little more on the species that are purely float fishing. Something's jumping over on this side of things. something. Yeah, there's a lot of eye over here. A lot of eye. Oh, nice. That was a, quite the hop there. Three point five one pounds. Not quite as big as the last one, but still very nice fish. Alright, I think what we're gonna do now guys, I'm gonna go over to but I'm going to go over here to site one and we're going to do a little bit of this fishing over here let's see if we can't get us something different chub is what I'm really after might not get him at this time might be more lucky at night but we're gonna we're gonna give it a shot here because there's usually a lot of chub, a lot of eyed, a lot of roach, aside from the trout, over on this end of things. And there's quite a bit of activity, I wouldn't say that. Okay. The only problem with this is this particular site, it might be interesting. It seem to be, but it's floating too fast. That's where we're running the problem with floating. Once it stops, though, yeah, we may have to just do it this way, guys. We may have to come down here. It's just, the current's just too strong the other direction. I'm going to walk all the way out here. As far as I can go, there's a lot of fish down there. Yeah, because this is just teeming with fish in this end of things. And it stops cold right here, so it's not a not a problem. There's our cold water stream, which is feeding this. So I'm going to try to get at the headwaters here and cast over on this side. Maybe we can get us a brook trout too if we throw on a dragonfly. Alright, let's see what we can get here, guys. Always make sure you close the bail. You just have to hit the left button and you close the bail on your reel. One thing you don't have to worry about with fish and plant, they don't have an open bale thing going on. Now 
eventually it is going to stop. And once it does, then we're just going to wait and see what happens. What, if anything's in the vicinity? We've seen a lot of bubbles. Bubbles usually mean fish are spawning in. So, if you look right where that bait is, there's a fish there. It's not again. Aha! Check it out. He's coming with purpose. And so is he. Now the other one would have gotten it if we waited long enough. Come on. There we go, and there's a chub. There's a chub. So we don't have to get them at night after all. And been told you can get them more at night, but that's why you want to get them. 2470 for this fish. It's pretty good cash for a fish this size. Apparently they're very popular fish in Europe, and I guess they're really good eating. I, I really don't know. But I would assume they would be, unless they're just really good fighters. Yeah, I think I might try casting this this way. A little farther. I'm just going to use this grub one more time and then I'm going to switch over to dragonflies. And with dragonflies, then we'll start tracking the trout. You see, there's another fish spawning. There's two of them, two of them. Oh, I think that's a roach. Yep, that's another roach. 209, not as big as the last one we got, but nothing to sneeze at. All right, we are gonna go ahead and switch over to a different lure or bait. I'm going to switch this over to dragonflies. Now, I don't know if they go for flies or not. I haven't tried flies. I already know this will work, so I'm going to go with this tried and true. See how that bail close? Yeah, because that was a mistake I was making when I first started doing this. I was a cat. Once I figured out that the current was going this way, I was throwing it out there and it was still moving. I'm like, why is it still moving? It's, it should stop. And then I hit the reel and click. And I'm like, oh, okay. <laughs> I get it now. Duh. It doesn't always happen. So. seeing any fish over here though. Honestly. Yeah, I really would like to get you all to see a brook trout because they're not as common as the other trout here. They're very pretty little fish. They ought to be worth more because they're not hard to catch. Grayling on the other hand, they're worth a lot. As little as they are, they, they bring in some serious catch, but we've got I thought we had an interesting party, but I don't think he is. There's two of them over there. It's not looking like they're interested in dragonflies. I think they they would be more for. Go for the bread though, and obviously grows. 
Man, there's a lot of those guys right here, isn't there? We did go for it. I'll be damned. Hmm. Surprise me. Yeah, he's an eyed. Not a very big one. Kind of small. Yeah, we might be a little bit far on this end of things. I think what I might do is go over to four. We need to come over here eventually anyway. We're going to go back out here in the middle. Now, current should be going towards the bridge, if I remember correctly. I get turned around real easy in this time now. Should be turned this way though. If not, we'll just go on the other side. It's not a big deal. Yeah, that's right. There we go. I think we got us a brook trap here, guys. Yep, I think we do. I was hoping we get us one. Yep, there you go. He is very big. But let me show you. Look how pretty he is. It's a pretty little fish. They have similar spots to the brown trout, but they're not quite as colorful. But I've seen some different colorations as they get bigger, though. He's kind of young. But $14 for a three pound fish is pretty good, honestly. I'm going to try to cast this a little bit farther this time. There we go. I'd love to get a bigger brookie. I was thrilled to death for when I got a brookie because most of the time I've been getting brown trout off of this, and you've seen the brown trout, so I think I might have spawning in right over there. Nope, 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 what do we got, what do we got? That looks like I need to get more dragon from this. Whoa, he is a man bunch of so guy. Yep, he's a 3.89 pound hide. He went for the dragonfly too, but I am out of dragonflies. That's probably mean that means I need to go to the shop here. <laughs> I need to buy me some more. Let's see. I have not tried the casters yet. It might not be a bad idea. It seems like the crucian, the hide, the chub, the bream. That might be a bad idea to try that too. You can catch any species of fish fly on top of body water with a water course. Hmm. I've not tried that again. Grasshoppers, the chubs seem to go for it. I really goes for it. But let's go ahead and get some dragonflies if I can buy a bunch. I don't seem to find them. There they are. Okay. All right. Who's having a fit over there? There's definitely a fish there. He's having some kind of hate. I'm going to cross over there and see if he gets a little too shallow.
Okay, it seems like there's like a hole right over here. Right under that tree. Oh boy, there's a bunch of them. Look at that. That was an Atlantic salmon. There's a brown trout. That's the one that's going in. Sometimes the bait can make them spawn in. At least it seems that way. I think this couldn't tell if this is an eye or a chub. It's an eye. Alright, well, guys, that is day fishing. Now, what I want to show you next here, real quick float fishing in the night. Now for that I'm going to come down here just a little bit because there's a rock facing right there. You see that that long bridge? I don't have a bit of lag there. Well there's this little rock facing right here. I want to get over here to these rocks so I have enough casting distance. Okay. That's good. And I'm going to keep my bait the way it is. I'm going to try a 16 off hook to start off with, but if it doesn't do any better, then I'll switch it to an 8. And let's see how this waggler float does. We've got that other one we can use. But what we're going to do, we're going to go back to the map. We're not going to move, but we are going to change the weather. I'm going to change it to night. When I pop in, it's night. And we hit F for our light. And I've already seen quite a bit of activity, but like I said, that rock facing, we want to cast it out there just a little ways. But this is where I caught the grayling. And I caught some chub here. And supposedly it's where the bleak are. Okay, I'm gonna get that. Right now, I'm kind of more after the grayling. Grayling can be caught in the daytime, but I haven't had any luck with them. I've only had luck catching them at night with these. I'm hoping all that activity means you might not be one that's interested in them. That's not a guarantee. That's a lot of bubbles. Taken. It's another eyed. I think I just completed another mission. Let's see what we got here on this one. All 100% of them now. We are ready to get some cash. That's good. Can't go there and get the cash yet, though. Nope, I have to leave and I don't want to do that just yet. Alright, let's take that down. We're going to toss this out again. There's. So much activity here right now for some reason. That is that's good, that's good thing. Big old fish right there. I think it's a pretty good size eye. I haven't seen a gray one this time though. Usually you see them swimming around in the bottom. You know a grayling immediately because they have a long dorsal fin. It's real pretty. So, in general, they're just a very pretty fish. Now, I'm seeing something spawning in over here. And here he comes. Boom! And it's a grayling! Yes! 
It's a grayling, it's a grayling, it's a grayling, it's a grayling. Alright. That's exactly what I was hoping would happen. Now, he, look, look at this, guys. He is only, not he's not even four pounds, not even four pounds. Forty-one dollars. Was I wrong? <laughs> I mean, we're talking pound for pound. This guy brings some serious cash. Let me take a look at him so that you guys can see it. Let's see the camera there. Now, see that fin right there? He's a little guy. I wish you could see a big one. But they are such pretty fish. He's got all that blue in him and all those colors. The bigger they are, the better you can see the color. But that's what you want to get right there at night, guys. You want to get him. Mm. It looks like this is a good night for him, too. So let's. There's another one down there swimming around. I don't know what he is, but we're going to toss it out there and see if we can. Maybe get us another one. Might get lucky, you never know. This location is also supposed to be good for the common bleak, but I have not been able to catch one. I've not even seen one, to be perfectly honest. Now, my buddy Dulacla has caught them here. He said you can catch them at night and catch them with dough balls. So, if we don't get us a grayling this second time, we didn't get a scrailing, but we did get a something. There is a grayling there, so I'm going to get one more cast just to make sure. Okay, that's another eyed. He's kind of small. I'm going to just cast this out just a touch out there, because that grayling is not far out there. There we go. Yeah, just as I was reeling that in, I saw him down at the bottom. There's another eye. I don't actually think that's a watch. What the hell is that? <laughs> is that a grayling? It might be. He's swimming down at the bottom. Can't really tell just yet. No. Sometimes I have a hard time telling them to hide from the chubs. I think this might be a chub. No, it's an eyed. Damn, I really want that grayling, guys. I really want that grayling. Thing is, there's a lot of eye here. There's a roach. I think that was a rainbow trout. I can't really tell what that is down there. I think that's another eye. But well worth your time, guys, for, for the cash. I can't tell what that is. He's moving real slow. He's definitely coming after this bait. I don't think it's a great one. No, I think it's just another ad. Yeah, I think we're going to go ahead and switch that bait over to, to dough balls. See if we can make an attempt at bleep again. <laughs> Been trying. Not successful. Elusive of these guys are, they ought to be worth it. Yeah, that's another ride. Okay. Alright, let's change this. We got two stacks, that's good. Sometimes when you take it off, it'll leave another stack. I don't know why. <laughs> it doesn't make any sense. Do I have dope balls or did I miss it? Yeah, I did. This is where I need to cast it, at least that's what I've been told. I don't see a lot of activity out here, damn. What I'm afraid of is this waggler might be too big and that might have been what was the problem that they were scaring them off.
might get a chub too. They like buildings. Supposedly they're here. We're, we're waiting out. Give it a little bit of time. Anyway. Oh! Roach got it. <laughs> yeah, I saw some bubbles and I was hoping it was a, a bleak, but mm, it's another roach. So let's try a little closer to that rock face. Maybe he meant it was closer. He specifically pointed that out. He said that he caught him right over here at night. So maybe it has to be closer. Let's see. I mean, they are a very little fish. Seeing some bubbles over there. Boom! Another roach. Decent size roach. Hmm. Yeah, we're not having a lot of luck catching these guys. Let me get a little bit closer. Yeah, I thought he was going for it. I was random, random, random. We got some. Another roach. Seems to be all I'm getting here, guys. So I'm, I'm funny about one thing. Oh, that's a big one. It's almost two pounds. I'm funny. I kind of like to get every species out of a waterway. When I can't get one, it's infuriating to me. <laughs> I guess it's silly, but I'm gonna lob it in. I cannot understand how such a little bitty fish could be so hard to get. Fish here. There's a grayling. Damn it. <laughs> Damn grayling. He's not gonna be interested in this at all. Alright, I'm I'm getting fed up here. You fellas. Cut it out. Go away, boy and bother me. <laughs> Jeez. I'm sure most of you young people have no idea who that was. I just a good impression of. His name is W.C. Fields. If you don't know who that is, go to Wikipedia. Look him up. He's a classic golden era comedian. Really popular in the 30s. Maybe the 20s, he may have, but mostly the 30s, late and early 40s. We're in a lot of splashing. And another roach. Well, looks like it's a roach kind of day. Yep. Yeah. Cannot get those dumb things, guys. 
They are still eluding me. Which just makes me more determined to get one. That's all it does. Well, this has gone on a little bit long, but you kind of get the idea about the flow fishing, I would think. And you kind of see what they go after. You can try different things. I'm going to probably go in the next episode and try catching these guys with the casters because I think we need at least one more episode here with this waterway. This waterway is just such a good waterway to, to fish before we go to Kill Canal. The Kill Canal I have yet to really do much with so this is where I've been really grinding until I get better gear. Let me go ahead and keep him. But anyway, I'm going to go off screen for a while and I'm going to find those sons of guns. <laughs> I swear to God, they are here. They are here somewhere. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed this episode. Please be sure to share, comment, like, and subscribe. And I will be back with another episode of Ultimate Fishing Simulator 2 Early Access. So until next time, guys, as I always say, aim straight, cast far, and have fun. I will see you later. Bye-bye.